And we're going to stick with evacuations as we continue our team coverage tonight with Fox 40's Monica Danda. She's joining us now live from an evacuation center in Auburn where people are staying. Monica. Nikki, Eric, the Red Cross is set up here at Bell Road Baptist Church. And we spent some time today speaking to people about what their life has been like since the mosquito fires sparked on Tuesday. Some people have lost their homes, some know neighbors who've lost their homes, and others are staying hopeful. All of them in very different scenarios, and that's why they're leaning on each other more than ever. Two days after the mosquito fire first started, its wrath is evident. Along Michigan Bluff Road, this home reduced to a skeleton. Only four walls remain. Take a look at these two charred vehicles completely destroyed by the mosquito fire. And if you move on over this way to our right, you can see this is one of the homes that got the brunt of the fire. One of the only things left standing is that bike. The ground all around here charred. And this isn't the only home ruined by the flames of the mosquito fire. We've made our way further down the road. And if you look on over this way, there's at least seven cars here on this property that have also been destroyed by those flames. I feel so sorry for them. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. That's all we can. That's all we can do. Derek Jones has been at this evac center since he left his Forest Hill home Wednesday afternoon. He tells us he knows plenty of people who live in the Michigan Bluff area. Many of them now learning they don't have a home to go back to. As the fire rages on, Jones and his neighbors are now leaning on each other as they wait. Worried, scared to death that we were going to have a home when we got back. And we still don't know. Okay? And we still don't know. Jones and his pups hope they won't have to wait much longer. But in the meantime, it's the support of his neighbors here at this church that's keeping his spirits up. It's like one big, big family and we all showed up here. And I do have to add, as we continue to make our way down Miss, uh, Michigan Bluff Road, we did see some homes that were still standing, so there is hope for some families. Reporting live in Auburn, Monica Deanda, Fox 40 News.